we're gonna be going over the 17 best typing jobs that you can do from home. So all these jobs include you typing on your computer or your phone, and you can do them in a work from home setup. And my team and I did 77 pages worth of research in order to make this video because we wanna make sure we give you the best possible opportunities. And not only will we be talking about the careers themselves, but we'll also be talking about wow. specific job opportunities where you can apply and land a job yourself. So if you appreciate me making these types of videos, let me know by gently cheersing the like button and let's jump into it right now. All right, so first one on the list is going to be a digital workplace specialist. And this is somebody who manages and supports digital tools and digital platforms that focus on enhancing the team's collaboration and productivity. So many teams these days are mostly or even completely remote. It gives huge advantages both to the employee as well as the employer. I mean, think about it. You don't have to buy a building or rent a giant building to house all of your employees. And you can hire people from all over the world so you get access to the best talent. But the downside of that is it's less social and sometimes it can lead to people being less productive. So that's why this position is becoming more and more important. So this is kind of a combination of sort of doing an IT type job. So you're setting up the technology, you're making sure that you know the tech side of things, but it also involves strategy training and most importantly, culture building within your team. And digital workplace specialists make about 49 to $79,000 a year. Now this is a relatively easy job to get into. It does involve a lot of typing. You're basically going to be messaging people all day and setting things up and basically making Making sure that communication is really tight and good within your team. So yeah, really like this one. I think it's phenomenal. Lots of typing involved. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. So here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out. Next on the list is going to be a social media content editor. And this is somebody who crafts and curates a brand's content across different social media platforms, such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, et cetera. This is kind of a mix between copywriting and also graphic design with a little bit of video editing as well. Now, don't be scared by the video editing. It's honestly incredibly simple if you use a tool like CapCut or Canva. And in this position, you can make about 45 to $77,000 a year. Now, one thing I really love about this is companies actually prefer to yes. hire young people for these types of positions. And so these can be great opportunities if you're someone who's just getting into the game and you're trying to get your first or your second job. And speaking of getting into the game, I'm actually going to be doing a live training this week, teaching people how to get into the YouTube game. I surveyed my audience and a bunch of you want to learn how to start your own YouTube channel, or you've already started your own YouTube channel and you want to learn how to actually make money from it. And that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do. I'm going to be teaching you how I did it myself. I got to multi six figures per month, only having to work four hours a week to maintain my channel. I get to travel the world and do whatever I want. And I've taught a bunch of other people how to do the exact same thing. And I'll be doing that live training this week. You can check the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to see exactly when it is. And if you watch this video in the future, you can check that same link to see when the next live training will be. And in this live training, I'm going to reveal the most important secrets to growing and making money on YouTube. And I'm going to be answering any questions that you have about doing it yourself. So definitely don't miss out on it. Uh, we've done a few of them already and they've been amazing. Hundreds of people showing up. We've had a lot of fun and I can't wait to see you there. So yeah, this one's really good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a brand storyteller. So this one merges the art of business strategy with storytelling. And you might be thinking, Shane, how are you going to make money from telling stories? That doesn't make any sense. Well, actually, just about every company, every successful company yeah. anyways, in the world <laughs> makes money from telling stories. Whether it's a direct story or an indirect story, that is how they make their money. Because the human brain literally thinks in stories. We remember things in stories. That's basically how our brains function. And so it's very important to have a brand story for your company and to reinforce and tell that story as much as possible. And that's exactly what you would do for this position. And brand storytellers make 49 to $88,000 a year. And again, it's another one of those positions where it doesn't take a lot of previous experience. It's the college degree, et cetera, to get into. Really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video, check them out. And speaking of story, I tell the story of how I was able to grow this YouTube channel. And I also train you on exactly how you can do the same thing that I put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So if you can't show up to the live training, I also have that there for you too. So definitely check it out. Next is going to be a make use of freelance writer. And in this position, you'd be talking about diverse tech topics such as phones, computers, AI, social media apps, etc. And freelance writers make about 44 to $79,000 a year. So this is yet another way that you can make money by 
by typing. So this is makeuseof.com. It's a very specific website that talks about a diverse array of different tech related topics, and they hire a bunch of people to write articles for them. So yeah, this is a pretty good opportunity. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is a health document quality analyst. And this is somebody who basically meticulously reviews and audits reports, ensuring accuracy, completeness, and adherence to quality standards. And this requires meticulous attention to detail with strong communication skills. Now, this does require you to learn a little bit about medical billing and medical coding, but a lot of the times you don't have to actually take any training before you start because the company will offer the training for you. And there's a lot of different medical related careers out there that are like this, like this one's 57 to $90,000 a year, for instance. And a lot of the time they'll even train you for it. So yeah, these can be really good. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is a similar one, which is a medical scribe. And this is basically where you document patient encounters with doctors or other healthcare professionals. And you usually do it in real time or right after the encounter happens. And the reason for this is because you want that information to be uploaded into the database as fast as possible possible so that other healthcare professionals can see it nearly in real time. So this is especially good because it allows doctors to actually talk with the patients instead of just typing the whole time. Because I'm sure, especially if you're watching this from the US, you've had this situation happen where you go to visit the doctor and they barely even make eye contact with you. They're just staring at their computer, typing everything you're saying the entire time. It's ridiculous, right? And so that allows the doctors to actually have a human connection with their patients while somebody else does the live typing. So yeah, really like this job. Uh, really good. It's also incredibly good if you want to uh, get this as kind of like a first job in the medical field and then move on to other jobs that are higher level down the line. It looks really good on a resume or CV. Plus you make about 41 to $70,000 a year. So I'm going to give this one a very solid eight out of 10 opportunity score. So here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be an account manager. And this is kind of like a semi sales role where you oversee a client's account, make sure they're happy and make sure they always keep renewing. So typically you would be working with higher ticket clients who might be paying tens of thousands of dollars a month or even hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, and they need somebody to work with them closely. And account managers make about 88 to $164,000 a year. So yeah, really good money here. I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. And by the way, account manager falls under the category of like sales and marketing, because a lot of the time you'll get incentivized by clients either continuing their service or ascending to a higher level product. And if you want to learn the basics of digital marketing and get into a digital marketing type job, I've actually helped a bunch of people on this channel do just that. I have a bunch of testimonials and interviews from people on the channel. And really the genius behind getting these results is my friend and business partner, Seth. And Seth has a free digital marketing workshop that you can check out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. It'll tell you all about digital marketing, all the different jobs that are available and whether or not it is a good fit for your personality. So definitely check that out. Next is going to be an authorization specialist. This is somebody who coordinates healthcare service approvals and they're basically like a liaison between providers and insurance companies. So a doctor thinks that a patient needs a certain drug or a certain treatment and they submit what's known as a prior authorization to the insurance company in order to explain why they think yeah, that patient yeah, needs well. this treatment treatment or this uh, cure and why the insurance company should pay for it. And the authorization specialist is the one who makes sure that that goes through and they make about 42 to $61,000 a year. Now, again, this is one of those super niche healthcare related jobs. That's relatively easy to get into. Typically the company will train you love these types of jobs. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video. I'll put them up on the screen for you. By the way, comment down below. If you like any of these jobs, maybe you dislike them. Maybe you've had the jobs before. Maybe you haven't, or or maybe you think I should have mentioned other jobs in this video, go ahead, comment down below. Oftentimes I will read the comments and include those jobs in future videos. Next is going to be a mortgage loan originator. And this is somebody who basically advises clients on loan options, assists in selecting sustainable mortgages and manages the loan application process. And this is a critical position in helping families achieve their dream of home ownership. And mortgage loan officers can make 163 to $304,000 a year. Absolutely nuts. And as you can imagine this job involves a whole lot of typing and you know putting in applications and checking databases and that kind of thing you're basically just typing all day long now realistically this one is not super easy to get into you have to have experience in the real estate market but yeah it can be really good um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score just because it's a lot harder to get into but if you already have experience in real estate this could be a really good one for you and here's some job opportunities you can pause the video and I will put them up on the screen for you next is going to be a legal proofreader this is where you combine 
sort of editing skills with a little bit of legal knowledge. And so you're basically going to be looking over court proceedings and legal transcriptions, etc., and making sure that they are accurate and making sure there's no mistakes. So legal proofreaders make about fifty-six to eighty-nine thousand dollars a year. Relatively easy to get into. A lot of the time you can do it from home. Super solid one. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten opportunity score. So here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video and I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be an entry level insurance claims specialist. And in this position, you basically <laughs> process insurance claims. Pretty simple. I think everyone understands that car accident happens or something. There's an insurance claim that is filed and you process that insurance claim for the company and claim specialists make about 57 to $91,000 a year. So yeah, another one that's relatively easy to get into. Lots of money in the insurance industry. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video and I will put them up on the screen for you. Next is gonna be a remote patient access representative. And this is a position where you manage clinic registrations, you verify patient insurance, and you collect co-pays all from a remote setting. So as you can imagine, there is a lot of typing. So this is almost like a combination of customer service and healthcare skills. And in this position, you make about 36 to $50,000 a year. So this is a really good one if you want to get into a different, you know, higher level healthcare career down the line and you want to just get a job to get your foot in the door in the healthcare industry. Really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. So here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out. Next is going to be a scheduling assistant. And this is somebody who helps to schedule and coordinate meetings. It's almost like an air traffic controller, except instead of scheduling and coordinating airplanes and jets, you're doing it for people who want to meet with each other. In this position, you make about forty to $58,000 a year. And as you can imagine, there's a whole lot of typing. So yeah, pretty good one, relatively easy to get into. I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a special specialized rater or a freight rate specialist. And this is somebody who basically ensures accurate billing for shipments by calculating rates based on pricing agreements. And they typically work in the freight and shipping industry. And you might be thinking, oh, that's a super easy job. Anybody could do that. Well, actually, it pays $114,000 to $200,000 a year because it actually saves companies a ton of money. So yeah, really good one to get into. As you can imagine, lots of typing with this one. It's also a bit harder to get into, and you probably have to have some experience in the logistics or shipping industry. But with that being said, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. And as always, here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out. By the way, as always, share these videos with a friend, family member, or someone who just needs to get a job. It really helps the channel out. And every time I see a comment from someone saying, hey, uh, this was shared to me by a friend, it makes my day. Next is a financial coordinator. This is somebody who basically manages and posts cash payments, check requests, and balances electronic data interchange systems. And they're primarily hired in the healthcare and finance industries. And financial coordinators make about forty-eight dollars to $72,000 a year. And as usual, as you can imagine, lots and lots of typing in this position and lots of opportunities out there for you to get a really good job. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And like usual, here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out. By the way, if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed, what are you thinking? Only about 18% of the people who watch my videos, I think 18 to 20% of people actually subscribe. The rest of you are lurkers. Come on, just hit that subscribe button. Doesn't take you that much time. And I really appreciate it. So next is going to be an order processing specialist. And this is somebody who ensures the accurate handling of customer orders. And this is absolutely vital for e-commerce platforms. So basically physical products and other types of retail sectors. So this is a role that combines attention to detail, customer service and logistical prowess, making it ideal for those who thrive in fast paced and organized environments. And order processing specialists make about 45 to $68,000 a year. So yeah, really like this one. Uh, relatively easy to get into. Lots of typing. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And like usual, here's some job opportunities. You can pause the video and check them out. Next is going to be a data collector. So this is somebody who collects, organizes, and inputs data. And as you can imagine, there is a whole lot of typing in this position. And this data would then be used by a data analyst or a data scientist to actually analyze and make decisions from. And you can make about forty-six to $77,000 a year doing this. This is a really good way of getting your foot in the door of the data industry because data related jobs pay incredibly well and you'd likely be working directly with people who actually do those jobs so yeah data collectors 46 to 77 thousand dollars a year really good money especially for an entry-level job relatively easy to get into i'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score here's some job opportunities i'll put them up on the screen for you by the way if you haven't seen it already i did do a video on 17 work from home job companies that are always hiring and you can check that video out by clicking right here